If you're on this video, then you're probably a huge fan of cartoons and anime shows in general. We'll be taking a look at the top 20 anime mods in this video. We're blending Minecraft with the whole anime and cartoon genre to fuse together to show you some of the most awesome mods in Minecraft. This is going to be a long one. Let's take a look. Number 20, Anime vs Tokyo Ghoul. Currently, this mod is fairly bare bones and hasn't been updated, although it adds a really cool ghoul mob to the game that looks really awesome. The wings and the red eyes look pretty menacing. Number 19. Berserk Craft. A lot of people love the Berserk manga and anime, and this mod adds some of its features into the game. First of all, you can use coal and iron ingots to craft enriched iron. You can smelt enriched iron into steel ingots and craft them with a stick and normal iron ingots to create the huge Dragon Slayer sword that looks awesome. You can use gold and a stick to craft the Griffith Repair Grip and the blade separately to later merge them together as the final weapon. The mod adds Golden Age gear such as the helmet and chest plate and the sword, and you can can enter rage mode whilst holding the dragon slayer sword itself. Number 18, Equivalent Exchange 2. This mod takes inspiration from the anime Full Metal Alchemist, and it's based entirely off the idea of transmutation and alchemy, with different solutions to allow for the transmutation of items and to perform alchemical processes. The name of the mod basically means something cannot be created by nothing, so in order to obtain something, something else of equal value must be lost, which is why to duplicate items, you must burn other existing items through the mod's EMC energy system in order to create a new. This mod features the condenser which can be used to burn up unwanted or rarer items for EMC in order to use it as energy to duplicate valuables. There's also the transmutation table to directly transmute items into others. I personally like the very powerful armor sets in game which are made from dark matter and red matter. At the end game experience of the mod you can upgrade red matter into gemstone armor which makes you extremely powerful and near indestructible. Number 17 Saitama 1 Punch Man. Although not so much a mod, this data pack is a really standout one in terms of quality, so I wanted to give it a feature here. This mod gives you the powers of Saitama, the protagonist from One Punch Man, giving you all of his main powers. There's some really cool special abilities and skills in here that are really impactful, catastrophic and just pure awesome. Powerful punches, phases and amazing effects that make for some truly amazing gameplay. The glove that lets you use these powers can be cycled through multiple modes, weak mode, normal mode and serious mode mode for some special skills. Number 16, Jin Games Naruto C. Created by the Dragon Block C developer, who unfortunately passed away and will be featuring many of his mods on this list, the Naruto C mod features a special story mode, with clans that have different abilities. You can acquire various forms and jutsus and utilize certain skills in the mob's RPG system. There's a good selection of weapons that you can choose from and use, and you can seek out the new ninja forest biome to explore and look to find the Kanoha structure and battle the different masters and enemies across the world. Number 15, Otako Mod. This mod is for average anime enjoyers who no longer want to play solo. It adds content from a few different animes, Jujutsu Kaisen, Solo Leveling, Black Clover, Death Note, Nanatsu no Taize, and Shimatsu no Valkyrie, for example. Many of these items and mobs can be found around the world, some having special weaponry that they drop. They all make up the 200 or more brand new characters which are added by the mod to spread out across the world world to populate it in some way, to make it less bland, mobs that spawn in the natural zones and in four brand new biomes which are added by the mod itself. Number 14, Dragon Block C. The original Dragon Block C mod for 1.7.10 is a mod based on the Dragon Ball Z, Super and GT series. This mod features a story mode with 14 different races which have their own forms and Kai attacks. There's a list of different commands and skills based upon a new RPG system, with a range of different weapons to acquire and utilise and a series of scouters. You'll find all new biomes and brand new dimensions too, and find the flying nimbus and space pods. As you explore and find new structures, you'll discover tough new enemies and masters, and find dragons that you can grant wishes from. As you gain powers and use these new skills, you will notice that there's new status effects and power to be bestowed upon you. Number 13, Jujutsu Kaisen. A fan working of the anime of the same name, this renewed mod lets you right click books in your offhand to learn their techniques. You cycle between slots 1 to 4, with the C and V keys and then use R to use your selected technique. 
You can use the curse speech technique by simply learning it and then typing in the chat. You can also switch with Sukuna after eating the finger by pressing G and shift. To gain the inner technique, you have to perform actions 300 times like sprinting for 300 seconds or destroying 300 blocks or attacking 300 mobs, etc. Which is bound to a special game rule required for these inner techniques. You have to seek out a shrine and destroy it to drop a random item to acquire the items in the mod. You can then trade with Gojo by right clicking on him with a yen item in your hand, which is granted from killing yokais. Number 12, Otaku World. This mod adds content from multiple different anime fandoms, adding content from anime series and movies and from manga works. There's some really nice decorative blocks added through the mod that you can build with and put on display, as well as some very attractive looking Dragon Ball themed characters and items and mobs. I particularly like the vehicles added in this mod too, like the long bikes and land speeder themed vehicles. There's quite a lot of random random anime inspired content to play around with. Number 11, Swordcraft Online. Inspired by Sword Art Online, this mod aims to recreate the anime material and it perfectly pairs with the epic fight mod for the combat system. There's a nice range of different weapons, some that can be equipped in the main hand, some the off hand and others in both. New ores and materials can be used to craft many of the new weapons and bosses are summoned using various summoner items. Crystals and elixirs can be used in combat as well as using the new armor sets for added protection during engagements. Number 10, Shingeki no Kyojin. This one is based upon Attack on Titan. The mod's concept is basically to defeat the Titans with specialized gear and weapons. The Titans in this mod are modeled very well and they look fairly realistic and are pretty loyal to the source material, with the items like cannons looking high quality also. Get your steel sword out and be prepared to face some tough giant foes. Number 9, Tensura mod. This, that time I got reincarnated as a slime based mod mod lets you play as your favourite races from this fandom. Goblins, lizardmen, slimes, demons and more. Choosing from the class list to enter a world of magical skills and abilities. As you die you'll acquire unique different skills that are powerful and unique in their own right. The goal is to first initially play as you normally would and then acquire many advancements before you die and be then reincarnated to begin your new journey. Based upon skills on your previous life or ones that you're granted at random. This lets you begin a new life based on slaying bosses, building civilizations, crafting weapons, taming monsters and collecting skills. Number 8, Naruto Shippuden. This mod for Naruto fans lets you open a clan paper and assign yourself to a clan, increasing your JP and SP levels by killing mobs that drop level points. You can craft spawn eggs with their summoning item to summon the different bosses and find cages within rare spawns in biomes. There are so many different swords and weapons in this mod as well as summoner items also. Number 7, Naruto Shippuden Animations. So this mod is actually a companion add-on to the one previously before, and it adds brand new Naruto animations to the game to support the main Naruto mod, namely by just adding the brand new Naruto run into the game, which is super cool for anime enjoyers and also a great meme too that makes Steve look pretty hilarious. Number 6, Steve's Bizarre Adventure. Based upon Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, this mod provides entities that give you bonuses to the player when activated. It uses a stand system with V summoning stands, left click for punch attacks, sprint and punching for alternate attacks or abilities, sneak and jump for other abilities that can switch modes and Z to open the stats menu. Number 5, Dragon Block Super. Inspired by the Dragon Block C mod, the mod features 7 different playable races including the human half Saiyan, Saiyans, Namekians, Majin, Arcosian, aka Freezer's race, and Bio Androids. The skills are race specific and they're bound to the skill trees that can be accessed based on your selection. There's a range of different fully immersive transformations within the mod that can be performed and achieved. The flight mode can be toggled with R and double tap to enter the modes, using C to boost flight using Kai. The quest log can be accessed with L and targets can be locked onto with the X key. The purple bar signifies the player's skill gauge which affects how long a transformation lasts for. Using Kai once it runs out, beginning your detransformation phase. Number 4, Academy Craft. This mod is about everything super through acquiring super abilities and upgrading them to use them in combat, and it's inspired by a manga called A Certain Scientific Railgun. With some custom super abilities from the creator, you become more powerful by using various skills, which will impact the harvesting, combat, and movement in the game just to create more efficiency in these areas. The ability developer block lets you learn and acquire abilities from 
from their categories, consuming image flux, a mystery energy required which is granted from an energy system which can be achieved through the wireless energy system. This mod has some 30 or more unique skills across the three categories, Electromaster, Meltdowner and Teleporter, a complete achievement system, support for other mod APIs such as EU and RF energy and not enough items recipe browsing, as well as server friendly support letting you turn off PvP and block destruction options. Number 3 Avatar Mod 2 Out of the Iceberg Based off of Avatar The Last Airbender, this mod adds all of the various assorted types of bending powers from the cartoon in order to create fast paced solo or team based fights through the use of skills. There's currently the 4 main bending powers of earth, water, fire and air and 4 sub elements being ice, sand, lightning and combustion, with 32 abilities to take for a spin that can be entirely configured. The bending powers have unique strengths and applications, with some being for peaceful means and some for more aggressive combat manoeuvres. Using a radial menu to choose from the abilities, you won't have to assign custom keybinds for each of them and everything in the mod like other mods require you to do. The levelling system works off of a character build system which means some moves require a certain level which is earned through progression points acquired from completed challenges. Number 2 Death Note This one is based off of the manga. The mod introduces the Death Note book which is a book of pages bound to the mysterious demon of death entity known as the Shinigami Ryuk. Upon writing a name inside this book, you determine how they shall meet their end, also meaning they cannot escape such a fate once it's been marked. You can even venture to the Shinigami realm to meet the maker of the book itself, in order to question its power and learn about the history of the book and collect new artifacts and upgrade it to a further level. The mod is still in development but it features a few options within the book, like the death time, the kill mode and the cause of the player's death desired, as well as the option to make a deal and relinquish the ownership of the book, two options that require an item input in order to perform. Number 1 Kimetsu no Yaiba In this mod based off of the Demon Slayer anime show, you can become a slayer by killing demons and making a Nichiren Sun Sword, which will grant you a random element and colour from 7 or 8 others. Whereas to become a demon instead, you must seek out the Muzan Blood Ore and get demonic power packs by killing demons for them. To progress in this mod, you follow the available advancements which serve as a guide. Demons must consume blood, with 3 drops advancing you to the next level and 50 letting you reach max level, with more additional blood granting you more hearts. The 3 different biomes in this mod are important for different reasons, with Mount Yoko being important for finding the special sword, Mount Sagari for finding key NPCs like Sabato which are useful to the player, and Mount Nagakumo where you find the character Rui and his family. This mod is really cool as it has some impressive looking particles and abilities in combat, with keybinds letting you perform different different actions. For an example, the R key changes breaths or blood demon arts with right click using them depending on if you have the sun sword or blood demon art items equipped. The S key when combined with jump will perform a back step and the M key uses the demon slayer mark which requires an advancement to perform. And that concludes the top 20 anime mods on Minecraft. Make sure to click the link down in the description below if you want to check out the top 10 Japanese Asian style mods for Minecraft. Awesome mods that have Asian style building blocks and armor sets from ancient Japan. Also make sure to comment below your favourite of these 20 different anime mods I featured and let me know about any other Minecraft anime mods which I've failed to feature on this list video that deserved a spot. Make sure to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.